When I was four years old, my national team of Greece won the European Championship. And uh, my father is sharing with me the story that I was sitting on his lap in our couch at home. And from that day, I was basically begging my father to bring me in a basketball court. That's how, let's say, it all started. When I was seven, I, I went in a team, uh, became a passion, and um, 10 years later, you know, I was a professional. He is a player that makes the team better, his teammates better. And when you have a veteran that won, I don't know, 15, 16 titles everywhere in, in the world, you are a lucky coach. I was very lucky to be from a very young age, from the age of 17, to a, a very good uh, Greek team, I Athens. At the time, they had a legendary coach, Dusan Ivkovic. My first game was, um, imagine, was a quarterfinal of Euroleague. Obviously, I thought that uh, I wouldn't play, and I remember so well his words, like, young guy. He didn't even say, my young guy, are you ready to play? I was shocked inside of me. Uh, of course, I said, yes, you don't have any other choice. I remember I didn't score, I was so nervous, but finally we, we did it and we won. I never thought that I would leave Ike and Greece in general. I left the, my country for Italy first, for Benetton Treviso. I was a great team at the time, but I never thought that I would stay so many years abroad. Cesca was a, was a great school for me. Um, I went there when I was 24. When I, I look back at it, all the things that I experienced and I lived. And obviously, uh, you never forget when you win the Euroleague. I believe that it's a, every player's dream, play Final Four and above all, win the Euroleague. I remember all these things, let's say, that I was able to accomplish. The, num the first thing that stands is the national team. Above all, playing for my national team. Then imagine to have the chance to win with your national team is something that, as I said, I was four years old. I have some glimpses of that, uh, you know, day that I was uh, celebrating with my father and my brother 18 years later to be in the same position. It's really, I can't put it in words. It's the thing I will uh, always cherish, always uh, remember. That is experience coming to the fore. When you look at Nikos Sissis, He's the guy that even he's not in a team, that he's not uh, on a bench. You can feel his presence, you know, his words. Like he's supporting, he's so supportive, trying to help the team. And he's like extended coach's hand on the court. There's Nikos Zissis popping up with a very important basket. I just try to watch on a daily basis the way that he works, the way that he carries himself as a professional, and just try to learn and, and, and take um, take some lessons from him as a person. Zissis looks to try and get somebody open. Bryce Taylor nails a big one. That's my third year in Bamberg. I never thought back in 2015 when I decided to come here that it would make me feel like this, you know. Bamberg for me is a great organization. They are a team that they want to, to continue uh, to get better. And let's say, I have the feeling that, the, that they are happy that they're having me, so I won't give back to them what they feel about me. From morning that I wake up, whatever schedule I have is around basketball, you know. Except my family, that is the most important thing that I feel I have in life, is, uh, is the second. Uh, it's, a, it's a way of life, and that's why I see myself around basketball even after my basketball career.